What's up, it's Gladiator here, and today we're going to be talking about the Rainbow Own. Now, this ship is made by the Fatoli, and the material is very difficult to get because you can only get it in a high-risk zone. So, I had a hard time passing this ship up. We're going to be going over it, doing a little walk around, and checking it out. Now, the Rainbow Ohm is the masterpiece starship that emerges when the best human and Fatoli designers collaborate to achieve perfection. This comfortable, flexi-roll ship is an enigma of space travel that will ensure you arrive in style after effortlessly covering half the distance of our known sector. This is one of those ships for me that feels like a true alien technology. This ship is has a lot of questions to it. Where's the door? That's always the first question, right? Where's the door? No landing gear. I like how it hovers. What can it land on? What are the possibilities? Can it land on anything? It's not really landing. It's just hovering in space. How does it handle? How does it maneuver? Something about this ship that catches my attention is that it has a large warp drive as well as a large impulse engine. Now for a medium class ship, that's impressive. And this is specced as a freight class ship. Now it did mention that this is a flexi roll. So it's a flexi roll freight ship. So we ha it has a medium size cargo in it. Uh, it has a medium mess hall, which means you can travel some higher class cargo or high high class taxi or high class Uber, if you will, as well as a small art gallery, which is curious because what type of art are we going to be transporting? Are we going to be transporting found art? Or are we going to be transporting purchased art from another fac faction and transporting that? Interesting. Or, or is it for created art, such as NFTs in the future to, to display on your wall, such as a poster? So I, Super cool, super, super cool and interesting. One of the other things about the Rainbow Ohm, if you're not aware in Star Atlas, is that it is in a high risk zone. And that means that if you blow up your NFT, yeah, this is, this is these are NFTs guys. These This is not your mother's JPEG that we're looking at. I get that comment a lot uh, that all Star Atlas is just a bunch of JPEGs. This, does this look like a JPEG to you? Does this showroom look like a JPEG? Now, some of the ships are in gray model, and you can't fly them. They're only for viewing right now, but some of the ships you can fly, and you can get in the interior of. We've covered those in um, some previous videos. I highly recommend grabbing a Rainbow Ohm or any of the Rainbow Lines or the Tufa Line. Now, this is not, it's not financial advice. We just know from following along in the project that those two lines of ships are going to be difficult to build. They're going to be difficult to build because the material the, the, that you need to gather in order to build those ships are going to be in the high risk zone. And it's going to be some of the closer in game type of, get, of play that you're going to have to be able to pull off in order to get it. At least that's what the information is leaning towards. For, the, for right now at this time. If you don't know, um, I am one of the commanders of the Guild of Ryan. We are enlisting members into our, our guild at this time. And we we just recently opened the door. So for membership, there's a lot of positions open that you can apply for. Everyone uh, is, is welcome to join the Lion's Den. It is pretty much a guaranteed enrollment you just have to apply get on the discord page or ryan and put your application in and uh look forward to hearing from you this is the rainbow ohm i am gladiator we are orion and i will see you in the next video